Hi guys, welcome to the channel again. In the previous video, we looked at TimeShift, the snapshot backup solution, which is normally meant to backup system files. You can also backup home directories with TimeShift, but for that, we have another program which we are going to look today, and it's called Back in Time. Let's have a look at it. So we are here in the GNOME Nestop again, and in the last video, we saw how to use TimeShift. So TimeShift is a great backup solution, and it's especially meant for backing up system files, although you can also back up home directories. TimeShift is based on snapshots, and the idea behind TimeShift is to have snapshots of your system that you can restore in case your system has a problem. You can use it, as I said, also for home directories, although that's not his primary purpose. If you want to have snapshots of your home directories where all your documents and personal data is stored, there is another program which I can recommend, and this is called Back in Time. And this is what we are going to install now. So Back in Time is a package from the AUR, so we'll need to get there to install it. And so let's pull up the browser. And I have already the page open in the AUR for Back in Time. So I'll just right click the Git clone URL here and click Copy Link Location. And then I'll open up a terminal. And I'll go full screen here and increase the font size. And we'll type in git clone. And then with control shift V, we paste the link and hit enter. Now move to the back in time directory by typing in CD and then back in time and hit enter. And now we'll build our package by typing in make pkg si. And then our package build file, so package build and hit enter. So it's going to take a moment now to make the package and install it. Now we need to enter our root password and hit enter. And we proceed with installation by hitting enter. And back in time is now installed. So I can close up the terminal here. And I close up also the browser. And now we go to the activities and look for back in time. And we have two of these here, and the one we need to choose is the normal one, not the root version, but the normal version. So I'll just click here on back in time. And since this is the first time that we run the program, we are asked here whether we would like to restore a previous configuration, but we don't have one, so I'll just click no. And now we are presented with the main profile window. So let me center this, make it a little larger so that you can see better. There you go. So back in time is a very simple snapshot solution and it's extremely simple to use. Beginning from the top here, we can choose our profile. Right now we have the main profile and we need to define this before we can create other profiles. So I will keep it simple on this case. I'll just create one profile. The main profile for me is fine. And then we can choose the mode. So in this case, I have now local, but if I click here, I have also a choice to make a local encrypted backup or a backup via SSH on an external server or also an encrypted SSH backup. I'll go with local for now. And now we need to select where to save the snapshots. So I'll click on the button here. And if I go to my computer and to the root user here, I have a backups folder already prepared here, which is mounted onto a second drive I have in my system. And this is where I want to store my snapshots. So I'll just click the backup folder here and click choose. Now here you'll see the full path to the snapshots. And here we can also set a schedule for these snapshots. So in this case, it's disabled, but I want to enable this and I want to do it daily. So I'll click here every day and I can choose also the time. So I'll choose at 1 p.m. And now we can move to the second tab here and select include. And we need to tell here back in time what folders we want to include in this backup. So we can add files, all folders or both. So I'll click on add folder here. And because I want to do a home directory backup, I just click my home directory here and everything which is inside here will be backed up. So I'll select this. If you want to choose any other directory or folder, you can do that. I'll just choose my home directory and click choose. And here we can exclude some files. Those files already marked here are already excluded from the backup. If you want to add more, you can do so. With the auto remove option, we can tell back in time which snapshots we want to keep. So for example, in this case, if they are older than 10 years, they will be removed. If the space available is less than one gigabyte, they will be removed. And if the free inode is less than 2% as well. You can also enable here the smart remove option, which will keep basically all snapshots for the last option you select here. So whether it's days, weeks, or months. 
So I'm going to uncheck older than and just let checked here the smart remove option, which is for me fine. And then we have some extra options here that you can enable if you want to. I don't need these. And then I'll just click OK. Now the main configuration is done. And tomorrow at 1 p.m. back in time is going to make a snapshot of my home directory. But we can do one now. So we can just click on the snapshot icon here. And it's going to take a second to make the snapshot. And there you go. And we can see now the snapshot was done on the 1st April at 1.20 p.m. So I'll just click here. And then we can see the folders which have been backed up here under backup folders. So here basically I see everything that is in my snapshot. So let's try here to go to the file manager. And under the pictures here, I have a photo of my wallpaper, which I can delete. And there you go. So I close this up. And now we can restore our document by simply clicking the snapshot here and then clicking restore and then restore again. And we are asked here, do you really want to restore this file? So I'll just click yes. And now the restore has completed, so we can close this up. And if we go back here to our folders, under pictures folder, we have our photo back there. So let me close this up. So this is a very simple example on how to use back in time with snapshots. So as I said before, TimeShift is actually a similar application to back in time, but with different goals. TimeShift is mainly designed to protect only system files and settings although it can also become home directories, but these are by default excluded, and this is going to ensure that your files remain unchanged when you restore your system to an earlier date. And again, if you need a tool to backup your documents and files, Back in Time is an excellent application with a lot of options that you can use for your personal files snapshots. So this was Back in Time, the snapshot solution for the home directories and your personal folders. As I said before, TimeShift is also a great tool for that, although it's actually meant for system files first. Back in Time is a free tool and I definitely recommend it, so give it a try and let me know what you think about it. In future videos, I'm going to actually install Arch Linux on the ButterFS file system with TimeShift and Snapper, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for this video, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please hit the like button below and subs to the channel if you haven't already. Subs really helps us out, guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.